Hello, this is Geometry Lesson 1.1. In this, I will discuss questions on lines and angle. These questions will be based on the concepts I discussed in the previous lesson. Now, this is a diagram. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. And we need to find the value of y. What will be the angle value of y? Now, how we will do? Now we can see that this this angle is 4y. This y this is y. This let's this is y dash axis now this angle is 4y this angle will also be 4y because they are vertically opposite angle whenever two lines inter intersect these two angles are vertically opposite angle then they will always be equal now you can see that this these three line angles these three angles lie on the same straight line 5y 4y and 3y and we know that angle complete angle on a straight line is 180 degrees so can i say that 5y plus 4y plus 3y this will be equals to 180 degree 12y will be 180 degree and y will be 15 degree so such kind of questions you can solve in 20 seconds in exam second question is pq is given parallel to st these are the angles given you need to find the value of x what will be the value of angle x now what you can do you can extend this line pq which is parallel by this line this this is let's say q dash now pq dash is also parallel to pq dash is also parallel to st because i have just extended that line now what will be this angle you know that as these two are parallel lines let me name this as u now we know that st and u u q dash are parallel lines and su is the transversal so sum of sum of angle on the same side of transverse will be 180 so this angle is 50 i told you that when two lines two parallel lines are there and one line intersect them so these two angles are angles on the same side of transversal and their sum would be 180 interior angles on the same side of transversal their sum is 180 this and this angle this angle and this angle interior angle on the same side of transversal when the two parallel lines are there so this will be 50 can i say this angle will also be 50 because they are vertically opposite angle whenever two lines intersect opposites angle are called as vertically opposite angles and they are always equal now this angle would be how much this complete angle we know that on a straight line the full angle is 180 degrees so this would be 70 now what will be the value of angle x now you can you know that x r u is a triangle x r u is a triangle and we know that sum of all the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees so can i say 70 plus 50 plus x that will make 180 degree so your x would be 60 degree your angle x is 60 degree here is the second method for question 2 that will make your concept more clear the second method I am discussing just to have more clarity on all types of lines and angle questions. You can extend ST also. This is T dash. Now you can see that T T dash will be parallel to PQ. Now you can also extend this line. This I have extended. This That was point Q. This is Q dash let's say. I have extended. Now this angle is 110, this angle will also be equal to 110 degree. Because these two lines are parallel, this T dash Q dash, these two lines, the tick mark, the, these two lines are parallel, T dash Q dash and PQ, they are parallel lines and QQ dash is a transversal, QQ dash is a transversal and you know that these two angles, this I am making a tick dot, this dot, two dots these dots angle are equal because they are corresponding angle they lie on the same position with respect to transversal so they are corresponding angle this angle is 110 now this angle would be how much 70 degree because on a straight line the total sum angle is 180 degree same with this this complete angle will be 180 on a straight line this would be 50 again in a triangle the sum of all three angles is 180 70 50 120 this angle will be 60 degree and that will be your final answer.
क्वेश्चन थ्री इज लाइक दिस एल वन इज पैरल टू एल टू दिस इज गिवन टू यू यू नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन एंगल इज वन थर्टी फाइव अदर इज फोर्टी बट वी कैन डू दिस क्वेश्चन वी कैन सोल्व इन टू वे फर्स्ट वे इज दैट यू कैन एक्सटेंड दैट लाइन यू कैन एक्सटेंड दैट लाइन नाउ दिस एंगल वुड बी हाउ मच दीज टू लाइन्स आर पैरल एल वन एल टू आर पैरल ए बी ए बी इज ए ट्रांसफर्सल यू कैन सी दैट एल वन एल टू एल पैरल दैट्स गिवन टू यू ए बी इज ए ट्रांसफर्सल सो दिस एंगल वुड बी दिस टू एंगल दिस टिक मार्क एंगल प्लस दिस टिक मार्क एंगल देर दे आर द इंटीरियर एंगल्स ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसफर्सल दिस इज सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसफर्सल देर सम वुड बी वन एटी डिग्री सो कैन से दिस एंगल वुड बी फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री बिकॉज दे सम वुड बी वन थर्टी फाइव प्लस फोर्टी फाइव दिस शुड बी वन एट्टी डिग्री इंटीरियर एंगल्स ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ ट्रांसफर्सल दे सम इज वन डी डिग्री नाउ दिस इज ट्रैंगल दिस सी डी बी इज ए ट्रैंगल एंड दिस इज ट्रैंगल द सम ऑफ ऑल द थ्री एंगल्स इन ए ट्रैंगल इज वन एट्टी डिग्री सो फोर्टी फाइव प्लस फोर्टी दिस इज नाइन्टी फाइव दिस एंगल वुड बी योर दिस एंगल वुड बी यू कैन सी दैट वन एटी माइनस एटी फाइव दिस एंगल वुड बी वन एटी माइनस एटी फाइव टोटल शुड बी वन एटी दिस इज एटी फाइव सो दिस वुड बी एंगल इज योर नाइन्टी फाइव डिग्री टोटल विल मेक वन एटी डिग्री सम ऑफ ऑल द थ्री एंगल्स इन ए ट्रैंगल इज वन एटी डिग्री सो फोर्टी फाइव प्लस फोर्टी इज एटी फाइव प्लस नाइन्टी फाइव इज वन एटी नाउ दिस इज अ स्ट्रेट एंगल this x plus 95 this complete angle is straight angle its sum is 180 so this angle would be 85 degree and that will be your final answer second method to solve this question is like this you can always draw a parallel lines third parallel line l3 you can always draw third parallel line l3 l3 is parallel to l1 as well as parallel to l2 this point you can make a b c now you can see that l1 and l3 are parallel lines this is given to you l1 l3 are parallel lines this angle a and angle b are interior angle on the same side of transverse also their sum would be 180 degree so can you say this angle would be 45 degree interior angle on the same side of transversal their sum would be 180 degree these two angles this and this interior angle on the same side of transversal there some would be 180 degree now this angle would be 40 degree because l3 and l2 these are the parallel lines and these two angles are alternate interior angles because two parallel lines are there let's make this 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 is a transversal so angle this and this are alternate interior angle and they are always equal so 40 if this angle this angle are alternate interior angle these two are alternate interior angles so complete angle rx would be 40 plus 45 this would be 85 the answer will still be same the complete angle x would be 40 85 and that will be your final answer now you can see that through this question i am applying all the concepts that i discussed in the previous lesson fourth question is ab is given to you parallel to cd ac is given to you parallel to d you need to find the value of x angle first of all can i say ab and cd are parallel lines given to you ab and cd are parallel so this angle will be 70 degree they are alternate interior angles alternate interior angles aia because ac is a transversal ab and cd are parallel lines alternate interior angles are always equal now you can see that ac and d is also parallel line ac and d is also parallel lines and where cd is a transversal cd is a transversal ac and d are parallel lines and cd is a transversal again these two will be also be interior angles this will also be 70 degree this complete angle straight angle the sum would be 180 so this angle would be 110 degree and that will be your final answer because straight straight angle the sum is always 180 degree so in this way you can solve the question based on lines and angles that was all about this lesson thank you